the West Side on the verge of a fourth straight trip to the title game. Warriors up 3 nothing, adding to it. Jamez Ross stretches past the goal line for the score. Dominant game for the Warriors. Second quarter, Kurt Kubrick getting the touch and plowing his way in for the score. Islanders just with no answers. Next drive, Warriors getting the aerial attack working. Rezac to Rezac for the score. Brett Freund enjoying this one from the sideline. Second half, more of the same from West Side. Ty Dingman punches in the score to start the running clock as the Warriors are headed back to Memorial Stadium. They sink the Islanders 38 to seven. So it'll be a rematch of last year's championship. Number one West Side versus number two Gretna. Who wins round two? We'll find out Monday, November 21st at Memorial Stadium. But we want to get back to that Gretna Creighton prep game. A great matchup. Ellie French has the highlights from Gretna High School. The last time these two teams met 16 to 13 was the final, but tonight a much different story with Gretna proving why they could be the team to hoist the Class A trophy. Creighton Prep looking to play spoiler and upset the defending champs, but special team struggles early on for the Junior Jays. They have trouble with the snap on the punt. They're able to get it off, but the Dragons block the ball and are able to recover it with great field position. So now the Dragons knocking on the Jays door Zane Flores sneaks it in a few yards out on the QB keeper. Dragons up 7-0. Later in the quarter, Gretna drives downfield and into the red zone. The Dragons dial up the reverse and Blake Moore goes in for six. Gretna now up 14-0. They'd go up 21-0 at halftime. Early third quarter, the Dragon defense blocks the pitch to Marty Brown and it's a fumble. Dragons recover and are in the red zone and they take advantage. A quick handoff to Isaiah Weber who does the rest. Dragons would score again, go up 28 to nothing. They'd recover another fumble, score again on the ensuing drive and go on to beat prep 36 to 14 and punch their ticket back to state. The whole team coming together, you know, in all three phases, you know, really pleased with, you know, special teams were big, was big for us tonight and obviously the defense played really well and, and the offense, you know, took advantage of this short field and um, you know, we just got that momentum and, and just rode it. It's super cool. I mean, this is what we work for, uh, you know, all off season, um, this whole season. Um, so, you know, we're excited. Of course, last season, the Dragons did win the Class A title before it was vacated due to an ineligible player. I asked head coach Mike Hill if there's any extra juice knowing that in this opportunity to return back to Lincoln. He said they're just going to go out there and do what they've done all season and hope that they can get the job done. Reporting in Gretna, Ellie French, KTV News Watch 7 Sports. Thank you, Ellie. It's been a minute since Bennington last lost a football game. You got to go all the way back to the 2020 quarterfinals, a seven point defeat to Plattsmouth. Since then, the Badgers have bulldozed their way through Class B, another state title in their sights. But to return to Memorial, they'd have to battle by five seed Waverly and some cold weather. Vikings had upset on their minds. Evan Castens scores from 13 yards out. And that ties the game up at seven through the first quarter. But Bennington retakes the lead right before the break. Nick Colbert's second touchdown gives the Badgers a 14-7 lead at halftime. Points hard to come by tonight. First drive in the third for Bennington. And Trey Bird links up with Jonathan Williams. 20-yard pitch and catch on fourth down. Make it 25 wins in a row. Badgers are headed back to Memorial. 23-7 your final. In the other semifinal, Scott's Bluff and Husker commit Brock Knutson making the 450 mile trip east to take on Gross Catholic. Cougars pounce on their opening possession. Colby Duncan delivers a strike to Jackson Drake, and it's 7 0 Gross in a hurry. First offensive play for the Bearcats doesn't go according to plan. The ball ends up in the hands of Charlie Palladino, hauls in the circus catch for the INT. Cougars would capitalize. Ensuing drive, it's Jake Garcia pounding his way in for six. 14-0 Cougars. Scott's Bluff would get on the board, but Gross answered right back. Give it back to Garcia. Fights his way in to make it 21-7. 260 yards, three touchdowns for the senior, but the Gross ground game not done yet. This time, it's Owen Brennan. Bounces outside, and he runs it in from 18 yards out. Gross Catholic holds on 49-35. Cougars championship bound for the first time since 2012. So the Class B title game is also set. The defending champs Bennington and Gross will try to cap an unbeaten season and snap that 25-game winning streak of the Badgers. We'll have to wait until Tuesday, November 22nd to see how it all plays out.